chick breaks down why she's willing to give a man her number in today's society, even if it's not her type. But the question is, ladies, are y'all doing the same? Before we get into this video, make sure that you all go crazy on that like button. If you're new to the channel, I'm letting you know right now, I'm stopping in and I'm pausing. If you got a problem, you can bounce. If you got a problem, you can just get on somewhere. But anyways, let's get into it right now. Let's see what's going on. If a man asks me for my number, I'm gonna give it to him. I don't care what he look like. And if I don't like him, I'm gonna throw an extra razzle dazzle in there and be like, yeah, and make sure you text me right now or in the next five minutes, boo, don't play with me. Y'all act like the block button don't exist. Do y'all know there are men out here unaliving women because they don't wanna give their number up to these men? Baby, I don't care what you look like, how aggressive you came at me, you about to get this number. I'm gonna be honest. I, I was not expecting her to come at it like this, and this seems actually pretty healthy. Basically, what she's what it seems like she's talking about is like, I mean, I'd rather give somebody my number than to lose my life. Like I can block them at the end of the day, but she's not lying, man. People are really losing their life because they don't want to give somebody their number, and that's probably the most weirdest, oddest, craziest stuff in today's society. Like I was just looking at a news thing in my hometown in St. Louis where that lost a life because of a man. You get what I'm saying? It's like like men is taking women lives nowadays. You know, like like y'all see what happened to the, the to the twins in New York. Dude took both of their life because they didn't want to get her number. I'm gonna play that video after this too, just because. I was at the gas station and tall dude with dreads walked up to me and said, let me get your number. Not asking me, can he get my number? No baby, he demanded it in a nice way. And even though he wasn't my type, I still gave him my number and smiled and said, make sure you text me in the next five minutes. Don't play with me. And he walked off smiling. Okay, not angry, not triggered, not disrespected. He walked away from me smiling. Women, come on, this is chess. When I'm in the presence of a man, I'm gonna give him the ultimate respect regardless if I'm attracted to him or not. And and I a hundred percent agree with that right there. What I feel like that we have a problem in today's society, not saying that this is how women should always live is in fear and have to play very uh, strategic like this. But at the same time, we're living in a totally new generation where just even women nowadays are seeming like men. A lot of men might agree with me, but it might be some women down below that don't agree. There's a lot of men, like she said, I just respect a man in general, but her respecting the man doesn't mean that she's giving somebody her number. But what she's saying is she's not finna go out and go off on somebody in public because X, Y, and Z, she's just gonna go about her day. Because at the end of the day, it is a man. Me smiling. Women, come on, this is chess. When I'm in the presence of a man, I'm gonna give him the ultimate respect, regardless if I'm attracted to him or not. Yep. I love my life. And that's a big part, rather she's attracted to them or not. So even if she's attracted to them, even if she's in a relationship with them, she's still going to give a man the ultimate respect. And it's also up for the man to give the woman the ultimate respect. You get what I'm saying? Let let the woman play the woman role and let the man play the man role. It's just the problem that we have in today's society. I personally feel like I love my future. I love my purpose. And I'm not going to allow pride or ego to get the best of me in that moment. That's, that's facts. A lot of people nowadays are very prideful or egotistical. Look up them words, y'all. I'm not going to be like, do he not see who I am? Do he not see how he just came at me? I want a gentleman. I don't want nobody rough around the edges. Now, granted, some women may like men who are aggressive mm -hmm. and talk to them a little rough. Me, I'm going to come at you with respect, and I expect you to come at me with respect. Facts. I'm going to talk to you soft and calm, so I want you to talk to me calm, okay? So, you know, um, either way, regardless of what I want and don't want, I'm going to make sure you have my phone number, and I'm going to make sure you're smiling, okay? So, y'all let me know in the comments, like, have you ever had a man come up to you asking you for your number, and you didn't like it? Like, what did you do in that situation? Did you just tell him, like... I feel like now it's a little unsafe to do it. Like maybe back in the day, now it's, it's getting a little wicked out here. Yeah. You got women out here losing their life because they don't want to give a man their Time phone of day. number or social media. Baby, you can have it all because once you, once I find out who you are, you going on that block list. I'm not about to argue with you. I'm not about to tell you 
I'm not about to correct you. No. Because somebody, another woman may like you for who you are. So I'm not about to correct a man and tell him what he's doing wrong. I'm not doing it. Because another woman may accept that. So, but yeah. All right, I love y'all. And I'm about to drop some more videos. Oh my God, man. I need a round of applause right now for this feminine woman right here. Did This queen, I'm going to say that, all right? Let me put some respect on her name because what she was saying right there was 100% facts, y'all. And you can't teach this, man. Like, like you you got to, like, it's, it's kind of difficult. Like, you try to teach something like this for people to be on a mindset. And I'm positive, like, don't be upset in the comments, women. I'm just speaking because it's a lot of men who go out here and tell men how to be men, how to be alpha men and things like this. But I feel like she's a very good example on how to be. Not even saying that every woman femininity level is the same. You know, because every man alpha uh, level is not the same. But at the same time, she's just said that it's a person for everybody. You know, what 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 she's not attracted to, somebody else, it might be their prize. But for her, that's just not her lane. She wants a gentleman. She wants to be soft. She wants to be talked too soft. She wants a soft, loving relationship. You know, some people do consider aggression love. Some people want that aggressive stuff. Some people like when a guy can, you know, rough them up sometime. It kind of turns them on. You get what I'm saying? I'm not that type of person myself. Like, I enjoy the very, very, very soft type of stuff. You get what I'm saying? I enjoy, I don't enjoy that aggressive stuff. You know, unless it's like, you know what I'm saying? I don't think I got to talk. You know. I ain't even drink no water on there. Went no more water in my cup. But y'all get what I'm talking about. Like, like it's, a, it's a time and place for everything. But playing a role in today's society is very, um, prominent you know and it's not something that's uh how can i put it it is it, it, normal nowadays because a lot of people look at that and they frown upon it have to think about this like like it's it's dang or natural now to call a man a bitch you get what i'm saying like mother bitch ass nigga going off on him on, in, in public throwing water just doing things that of course a man wouldn't take from another man you go you get what i'm saying so don't put yourself in a position by thinking like oh i'm just a woman he won't do that because there's people out here that will. You know what I'm saying? Like, there's people out here that is just as crazy. And there's no need to test your life, which is just unfortunate, but even just your health. Not saying he'd take your life, but men out here, like, it, it, you know, back in the day, they'd be slapping. You get what I'm saying? But now it's it's a lot different. Mugs is out here taking lives. But I, I, I respect her by saying that she just played her role as a woman and she don't try to combat with a man to and like be aggressive and things like that you get what i'm saying like like i re I respect that all in all and i hope that y'all enjoy this for real man i hope that y'all really taking this in and 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 um and 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 not trying to take any offense to it um if y'all know who this young woman is uh please tag her down below um and let her know to keep doing her thing you know i actually would love to check her out to uh look at more of her content because things like that um honestly gives hope that you know not even in today's society that is uh it, it, it's women out here who thinks like that you know and i feel like what you really um surround yourself around you constantly put into your head on a daily is what really consumes you you know so so this is the video i was talking about with the twin sisters um and one of them actually lost their life because the guy uh she rejected them let me show you this right quick sisters attacked by a man who police sources say tried to flirt with them inside a brooklyn deli tonight one sister is dead and the other is injured as police search for the killer i feel it's horrible it's sad it's very sad. A memorial grows outside the home of 19-year-old Samaya Spain. Spain died Sunday morning after being stabbed twice inside a deli in Park Slope. Her 19-year-old twin sister stabbed in the arm. A witness who didn't want to show their face says the twin sisters were attacked because they refused a stranger's advances. Wow. One of the guys had complimented the uh, two girls that I walked in with their friends, and they, they um, said no. They weren't attracted, so he called them names. They called him names back. He walked down. He walked down the block angry. The witness says the man came back to the deli, and that's when things took a turn for the worse. He's banging on the door. They locked the door. Then he walked away again. So they unlocked the door so everybody could leave. So the second they let, the second they opened the door, he ran back into the door and started attacking them. A deli worker at the store on Fourth Avenue in St. Mark's Place says the twins have been coming there for years. They're very nice. I know the father too. Oh yeah. They're very nice people. They come over here all the time. They are a customer of ours for over like maybe over. I will see over ten years. I know them. Take somebody else's life, young lady, like she's 19 years old. You know, she's a beautiful girl. 
The witness said the man and his friends were intoxicated and ran off after the attack. So far, no arrests. Anyone with information is asked to call police. Sad, man. That's what I was talking about. Like, people are really losing their life because of a situation like this. But that you all enjoy that. Make sure if you all enjoyed this video that you hit that like button, comment, and also subscribe for your boy if you're new to the channel. And until then, I'll see you all tomorrow.